I'm about to send it sunlight. But the sun's not facing that way. When people try to help you, it's like they don't really know what you want. So they just like, they telling you the wrong shit. I'm like, listen, I want to be, I want where the sunlight hitting me. Hey, y'all. I'm trying, I'm out here celebrating my sister's birthday. Cali. Let me, let me get my boy Lawrence on. Hold on. All right, Lawrence, where you at? Um. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for coming in. We about to get started. I gotta hit Trey B. Lawrence three and four of this request, okay? When they start combining requests. <laughs> oh shit. What's up? What's that? Oh, you outside? What the fuck? Listen, I'm on vacation. You showing off right now. You, you, I know. You, you outside, uh, no mask on, just around people. I'm, I'm glad you away from me. Shit. What, what's what is going on here? They, no, listen, they way more strict in Cali. Don't even don't even let all this luxury fool you. They strict out here. You can't even go. It's mandatory you have a mask on everywhere, except for outside. And, and you ain't got one on. Outside. They don't own outside. God on our side. They got okay. they got they got all the um they got all the new they got all the nutrients in the air mm -hmm. to heal you, you know. God put everything on this earth to to heal you. So this is this is his nature. So I'm 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 real good. So that's how, that's what you claim in the fame right now. That's that's what you want. That's what's say. real. Okay, hey, if that's what you want, man. Hey, what up, man? This is relationship hey. hour. Uh, thank you, Miss Candace, for doing this. Actually, what well, is her live? She just Brody my shit, you know what I mean? And she yeah. just took over. But you you the you the man though, so do your thing. know y'all know her, you know, from her viral videos <laughs> with with Desi. You know, one of my favorite episodes in uh in Atlanta. You know, I see you. <gasps> Yeah, I see you. I see you, man. But we here. Thank you for doing this for me. It's relationship Bible where we talk all things relationship, man. Uh, I always ask my guests before we get started how to gauge the questions. Is Miss Candace single or is she not? What is she? Oh my God! Yes. I'll let them. I'll let them answer. Oh, they let them answer. Oh, the, the people yeah, I'll know? let. I'll let them guess first, and then I'll see who's right. Okay, well, what y'all think? Y'all think Kansas is single or not? What y'all think, man? Let me know. Whatever it is, but uh, whatever they say, ain't saying nothing, they ain't saying nothing. Miss Candace, she involved. She, I'm, 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 feel, I'm real upset right now. I'm real upset. They show the beach, and you out there in the sun. I'm, I'm sorry, like, man. I know, I know. I'm real. I ain't even mean to flex, but it just happened. I got you. So we can just get started, man. Because when we talked earlier. You gave me a bunch of questions that you you felt mine was too surface, right? Right. You to, to conversate about some some real shit, right? You know what I mean. So we get right into it, man. What should you said women out here paying for men? That's what you feel. You think women is is paying for us? <laughs> yes. I, mean, I I don't see it because all yes. the fucking dates I pay for, I have yet have yet to met somebody say, "Hey, you know, I pay, I take the bill." When does that? Well, I'm glad you're quite the gentleman. We need more, more like you. But yes, that has become very, very uh, normal now. Like women paying for men is like it's considered normal. I feel like. So you saying it's expected, or are men asking women? I to feel pay like for I feel yeah. I feel like from uh, the today's men, I feel like they expected it. Like just from the stories I hear from you know female uh, females that I know, they sometimes they. They go Dutch, you know, you got the, the, you go on a date, you have people that's like, you know, agreeing to go Dutch. I don't, I don't know what that shit is, because I don't be doing Dutch nothing, Dutch, Dutch, I don't do none of that jump rope and shit, I don't know what they're talking about. What you mean Dutch? <laughs> you gotta pay this shit, the fuck you talking about? But, <laughs> so you it's ain't a lot of, 
Right. So you can't you can't pay for a man lunch or brunch. Or I mean, if we getting to know each other and I'm already taking care of myself, what I need to do get to know you folks. I don't I don't I don't know I don't get it. You know, it's me like when you're courting somebody, I just feel like as okay if. How about this? I'll be fair. If a man pursues a woman, like he wants to go on these dates, then I feel like, yes, absolutely. You should be taking care of the bill. But sometimes women pursue. Okay. So my thing, because I always believe that whoever asks who out. Hey! What's she got? If people in the rough? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Hey, I'm on live. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl, B. This is, hey. it's, it's my sister's birthday. This Happy is birthday. Wow. And it's day. Hey. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah. My girl just showed up. We all man. got Corona. Every last oh, one of y'all. He said, he said we all got Corona. Every last one of y'all. Y'all didn't. Yes, in a box. Everybody got Corona right there. Well, we quarantining over here then. That's what I'm talking about. Well, back to what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Saying. So I was always a firm believer who asked who to go out, that's the person who should pay. Right. <laughs> that's how you feel, though. Well, I feel it's fair, you know. But I'm, I mean, I'm curious, when you said that, I didn't know that this was a thing. Like, that I didn't know that women were really paying for men to go out. But my honey. thing is, if, if she's doing it, I'm wrong for accepting that, though. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if we go out and you and you offer to pay, I'm wrong for saying, okay, I got to say no, I take care of it. If, if you ask her, yes. I'm not asking. I'm saying if she offered to pay. If she offered to pay? And so you you saying if she offered to pay, then what do you what what's what's your response if she offers no, to pay? I'm saying, am I wrong? Because you're saying men are out here expecting women to pay. So if she offers to pay for the meal of whoever we at, I'm supposed to stop her and say, "Yo, oh, <laughs> I got this." Like, what's wrong with that? I, I don't see the problem in that. You don't have to stop her. No, I don't think. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's it's your preference, honestly. You have men that don't believe a woman woman should pay for anything, and then you have then you have men that believe that they should pay for what they want to pay for, and then you also have men that think a woman should pay. Period. Now, I don't know no niggas like that. Just they should just or like they just expecting you when you go out. Like I ain't even pulling my wallet out. That's what you say. It's guys out here like that. Yes. I didn't know that. I mean, I can get, you know, somebody pay for a meal, but I don't know what's guys out here like, no, I'm not paying for these chicken fingers, nothing. You paying for all that. That's how you feel. Yes. Well, then that's y'all. Y'all messing with the wrong niggas then. I can't. I mean, everyone has their preference, but I'm I'm, I'm old school. Like, I don't pursue. I'm I'm not single, by the way, so I, I yeah, don't think we that. They yes, I have. I'm in a relationship. Everybody yes. in the comments told me. They told me. Yes, I'm definitely in a relationship, but um, no, I don't believe that a woman should pay. Okay, I mean that's cool. I, hey, I'm I'm all with you. I mean, you can you can treat a nigga to a pop tart once in a while, or something. You know what I'm saying, right? You know, if something. she wants to pay, then that's that's great because I you know I feel like if she wants to pay, then she wants to pay. I should never stop her. And sometimes men pay so much that you know treating him is good too. You know what I'm saying? Like you pay all the time. Let me just take this one. Like I do that. You know what I'm saying? I do that because it's like, you know, I'm so grateful for you doing right by me. So let me, you know, this one's on me, shit like that. But it ain't like, it shouldn't be expected for a woman to pay, you know, unless that's just the world you live in. Yeah, I don't believe that either. I mean, I'm, right. Yeah, we, can, we can agree on that. I don't think that women should have to pay for men, but you can, you can uh, buy niggas some fries once in a while, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> give me a, you know, a buy, four buy, four. buy them some flowers? No, some fries. Four for four, something. You can, you can pay for something. There we go. So we're gonna keep moving right here. You, there's another topic that you brought up that uh, I thought was very interesting. You said um women not dating men with children. Is that is that a thing too? Yeah, it's a thing. I I know I've like look just online, just commenting under certain posts. I like I've kind of like made a mental toll that it's a lot of women that don't be wanting to date men with children. Mm, all right, would you date a man that have kids already? I, I, the, my boyfriend does have a, a, a child, and that's like my baby. So, yes. So, have before him, have you dated? Or were, you, were you against that? Is that a thing? Have I, have I dated men with children? Yes, I have. I dated a dude with five kids. Oh, shit. <laughs> he he shit shouldn't have potent. been out here. Yeah, I dated a dude with five kids. He was out here potent with his. Listen, four of them was, was his, and then the, then the fifth one he adopted. I said, Well, aren't you generous? Mm. 
He out there, <laughs> Jay, he's firm. He out there passing it around. And did that work right. out? Was there any problem? Of course it didn't work out. It was awful. I mean, it was great, but um, it was actually one of my, it was one of my favorite, um, uh, uh, I guess, experiences in my history, but yeah, it didn't work out. It was it lasted for like three months. Mm, so was it the kids that was the problem, or was it just him? You say what? Was it the kids that was the problem, or was it him? Oh, the kids weren't the problem. L listen, I was so goddamn strong. I was about to be the stepmom, and I, I you know, sometimes <laughs> it be that good. Yeah, it really be that good. I was really about to be the stepmom of all the five kids. My family thought I was crazy. I said I was in love. I like this is my man now, and I'm in love. And mind you, I'm young, right? I'm around like you around. Like 20. I'm around <laughs> 25 or 26 or something Keep like going. that. You were, you were around, okay. Right, I was around that age, and uh -huh. um, I had got out of a... Right, it wasn't young, young but it's, it's definitely young compared to what I do now. But I had got out of a long-term relationship, and then that was, my, that was my high school, up to, you know, my high school sweetheart. So I was with this person for, like, seven years. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then I then this new guy came out of nowhere. So I was it didn't take me long to fall. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you 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 don't have a problem with dating a guy with kids. Would you have a problem if a guy wanted to if you had kids? He was like, nah, I can't really do that. You know what I mean? Those, right, that's important. Those, those so not, I mean, those it's more women problem. that got children that's single. It's a um, lot of y'all that got that. Like, I haven't <laughs> heard women say that, but then on the flip side, like you can't tell me. And she don't want to date me because I got kids, and then I turn around and you got three kids by two different niggas, and you mad at me because you think I'm right. the problem. Right. I mean, like I know how to, I I know how to use a condom. Like that's not me. I'm not the problem. <laughs> so I don't I don't get it. But that's how women be sometimes. You said I, men don't I communicate. This is another thing I want yeah. to talk to you about communication. What you said. Um, I want you to explain this. You said men communicate better online, but they flake on women when they see them? Now, this is my favorite topic. So, my, explain I, I have, that. I'm not, I'm so you know the Bumble app, right? The Bumble app? No. Nah. What's that? I think it's like the most popular dating app right now. Like Every, it, like, listen, if you if you know about Bumble, say something. Let's just is start it like Tinder or something? Yes. It's okay. like Tinder and Bumble is like the number one. Y'all know about Bumble. Can I get a yes so I can sound I don't know like I'm right? <laughs> I really don't. I don't know shit about Bumble. Is it like I could, be, or I could be saying the shit wrong. It could be Bimbo, but it's definitely start with a B, and they on it. Okay. So what happened? And so it's like I think you swipe left if you don't want them, and you swipe um you swipe right if you want them, and then like the woman has to pursue, the man can't pursue. Like it's set up to where the woman has to speak first. Oh. Yeah, okay. that's why that's why like the app kind of like been popular. See, they know about it. They saying yes. Okay. So it's uh from my the girlfriends that I know, they were saying that a lot of times they'll be um talking on the phone with a dude and or through direct message for a while, and then when it's time to meet up, they flake. And well, maybe it's her. You ain't never thought about that. <laughs> Yo, yo, like you say things that like I, I see. I don't see a problem with like if a, if a nigga talking to you on the phone. I want to know why. It's you. <laughs> Get out of here. How is it me if we're, if we're both interested and where you're acting like you're into okay. me and I'm into you, and then when when it's your idea to meet up and we're meeting up, and then by the time we get there, you know you flake on you flake that day. Something happens where you just can't make it. Okay. To in layman's terms, it sounds like you talk to multiple women on this app. And at the day that you wanted to go out, somebody else probably was like, look, just come on over. And he was like, well, I got to spend some money when I can just go over her crib and get it for free. That's oh. What That's what it sounded like to me. It sounded oh like my God. he's juggling multiple people on this app. And That's terrible. He had to literally go on the actual date with you. <laughs> He so he's just trying to he's trying to get some pussy. That's yeah, it. Yeah, he's just trying to get it over real quick. You know what I mean? But I, I mean, I was more so. On, I was more so when people's personality. I don't like that women sometimes. Um, if we want to reverse this, where women have a great personality on social media, but then when you meet them, they like real dull and boring. You know why is? Uh, yeah, right, right. A lot of women got it. They real exciting when they online. You know, they got they witty. You know, say all this shit. And you meet them in person, and they real, you know, they flip. Right. What's up with that? Yeah. Well, you know, I they it's a bunch of phonies out here, man. They just be flexing, 
and and then when you and then when you get and see them in person, it's like wow, all that shit really fake. Like you're really not bomb in real life. That's your people. Huh? That's your people. That's my people. Yeah, the, the ladies. <laughs> That's your people. The ladies. Because I'm because right? I'm an I'm an influencer. Yeah, you were you were right. You're supposed to be out here. That's the culture. You were that so is definitely the influence. You're supposed to be and telling these women what it is out here in these streets. You're not you're Listen. not going the right way. Listen, I'm my I'm myself. I be I will I I fight for my people. You know, I'm all for the movement. So I I feel like I influence people. You know, in the right direction. But it's definitely a that's the culture of this whole social media where it's like I'm just gonna show you how much I got, and basically y'all need to catch up to me. Mm -hmm. So with that, could you could you take care of a man? Hell uh, no. No, we're not saying take it. Let me rephrase that question. I'm not saying take care of a man, but say you and your boyfriend have kids with everything and your career pops off. He want to stay home with the kids and, you know, do that thing. Would you would you be in support of that? Like, like support, supporting a man and want to stay home, a house husband. Would you support that? A <laughs> house husband. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga who wants uh, to stay home and raise the kids and change diapers. And like, dishes. he want to stay home as a career. Yeah, like he like, look, boy, I'm gonna let you go on out there do your acting thing. You know, you're gonna be on the road. I'm gonna take do you my acting thing. This acting thing pay bills. Yeah, exactly. So he said, look, instead of me being a distraction, I'm gonna stay home with the kids, and you gonna take and you gonna do that. Could you support a man like that? Oh God. Um, let me just answer this off because I call phone. Hey, well, hold on. So his reason is he want to be a stay at home dad. You know, his reason is he's supporting you and your dream. He letting you go do you. I'm going to stay home and watch so, the kids. Well, he not supporting me in my dream because me and my dream need money. Yeah, but you if he if he out making money, who's going to watch the kids? <laughs> I'm just curious. Oh, like, so, who, he, who, so, he, so he's going to babysit the kids for me in my dream. Not baby, how you, you can't babysit your own kids. You can't do that. You definitely can't babysit your own kids. But if you watching them, like we, can't, we ain't going to hire nobody else to watch them. And you just going to watch them. Yo, they coming at my water, son. This nigga said <laughs> Jeff Park water is trash. Like, what's wrong with my water, my nigga? Water oh, is water. Christ. Your followers is crazy. This nigga coming at my water, son. Oh my god. Um, my I don't. Is... No. Well, if we're if we're married, let's just say is we could be married, and right. there could be a situation where um he's not making the most money, and I am. There could be a situation, and I definitely would, you know, temporarily take care of the house. For sure. Mm -hmm. Temporarily. Temporarily. That's a, a week. Yeah. You got do. You got a weekend. <laughs> you got one weekend, you nigga. You got to get a job. Like, listen, like, listen, nigga. You better be glad. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not just saying. No, I will temporarily take care of the house. This is not gonna be. I'm not gonna be the breadwinner. Okay. Could you but, trust the guy after he cheated on you? You said what? Could you trust the guy after he cheated on you? Trust the guy after he cheated on me? Yeah, that was what you asked. You said trust the guy right, I did. after infidelity. I, I, I honestly do believe that um, I think I could. You know, it would take some work. But if I really was into my lady and she cheated on me, I think I could take her back and trust her again. It's going to take a while. If she was Jill Scott. Oh, oh. Jill, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Jill <laughs> Scott can fuck a nigga in my face. And I'd be like, I, I'm, I can't see shit. She can fuck a nigga in my face right now. And I'm gonna cover my eyes like I ain't see nothing. That's how I feel about that. I ain't see shit. I'm Stevie Wonder. He could be banging her back out. I'm like, listen. I'm oh Stevie my god. Wonder. She you're right. She got she got that much room for error. Yeah, that's the perfect woman right there for me, Clay. She that's she's perfect. unapologetic, man. She on she just be in her own world. I like that about it. That's what she do. Right, right. Could you, could you do that though? Uh no, well, like that, you that, said that, you that, said that, you that. would forgive her. You said you would forgive her. I can forgive her. I can take her back and trust her again in the future. Wow. Because have, have you ever been cheated on before? I wouldn't know. Well, you I never caught know. a guy cheating on you? Hell no, no. Nah, I mean, nah. I call, I call, I called some flirting going on, but I addressed that shit in a moment. But it was never. Uh, I ain't, I've never been cheated on. If I've been cheated on, I don't know. But I ain't never called nobody. So could you do that? Could you be that person who uh, catches a nigga? After I'm really you? territorial. I'm a Scorpio, so we don't really take that shit too well. Oh, you um, got 
Oh, I don't really know. Honestly, I can't. I can't really threaten people because it's like I'm gonna be surprised whatever happens to you too. Because shit, I'm in the moment. You piss me off, you know, man. I might even remember what I did the next day. I was so pissed off. Oh shit, you on some first forty eight shit? Cool. <laughs> I don't. I, it it would be very, 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 very hard for me to forgive him. Like. If it, he would really have to work. It's not about none of that. That wasn't what you said. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Okay, I'm coming after this hour. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> tell, tell them. Is that your sister? Yeah, this is my sister's friends. They came to visit and we drinking. I got you. No, it wasn't yeah. about forgiving him. It was about trusting him. Could you trust him again? It, right. That's and that's what's important. Like he would have to. He would definitely have to make me trust him. It all depends on what his what he does. Like you know, it's it's no hard road. I wouldn't trust him unless he makes me trust him. Like he gonna have to like sit in the rain outside the house for twenty four hours or some shit. Sit in the rain. Yeah. Man, damn near, damn near die for my forgiveness. I'm not catching no goddamn cold for that shit. You better. You better Will you catch corona for me? Have a nigga cough on you or some shit? To, to yeah, I back? want you to be on your last breath to get my forgiveness. Yes. Have you ever cheated on somebody before? Yes. Why? Why would you do that? That's just wrong. Huh? <laughs> like I did it. The... I did it when I was way younger. I was in, I that was don't in mean high nothing. school. Once I was in cheater, high school. Once a cheater, always a cheater. <laughs> that's what they say, but it's really not true. I'm not the it's same in, person it's I in was. Your blood. I see it in your blood, though. Like you got that. Well, I I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm very very loyal. Very loyal. I'm loyal. But in high school, you gotta understand. Some people be in relationships where they are not being fulfilled, and they they you know humans take the you know as you're a human, you're gonna you're gonna feel what you feel. You can't help it. That's why the heart is different than the brain. So, some if you're not getting something, then you're gonna always seek it, and that's usually why women cheat. Men cheat, you know. They're the the high is that men cheat mostly for um, desire, and women cheat for a reason. Say that again. Men cheat mostly for desire, and women cheat for a we a reason. A reason. Oh, yeah, a reason. reason. The reason has something to do with what they're not getting in the relationship. So who fault is that? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't try to put that shit. Have up. you been Have you been cheated on? Um, yeah, I've been cheated on. Yeah, I have. But I was been cheated on because of what I was doing. What you was doing? I wasn't. I wasn't being the motherfucker I was supposed to be. And I, what, I, what was that? I was cheating, and I, I got cheated back. You on. know what? I'm over. <laughs> I'm about to. Oh, I I'm, can't be I just got mad for her. She cheated back. You mean know, she? I cheated. She cheated back. So Almost really don't count. Like we even after that. You, you know cheated I mean? first, though. Like you ain't never been the. Have you been the faithful person, and then the person cheated on you? Um, I have. I have been. I have been. Okay, so tell me about I that have. one. I, I I but my reason is different. Like I get I. I forgave her because of what I did in the past. Like I felt like it was karma on me. Like I've cheated so <laughs> yeah. much and never got caught. So I was like, this shit gotta come back on a nigga. At some right. Point. Karma's if real. I've, if I've cheated so much, I'm like, I deserve it. I deserve she she got me. You know what I mean? Right. She took one, she took one for the team right there. Right, got your so ass. I think it's, on, I think it's only right that I forgive her after that. Right. It's just she She got she, she got credit from 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 you. Of course. She got she got she got a uh she got a, a a gift card. You know, you got a gift card right now. You got your, <laughs> your, your cheating gift card. And, and you, and you, ah. you, you cash that shit in right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. You still, are you mad? Would you be mad if an ex still talk? If, you, if the person you're in a relationship right now, if they still talk to say, to their ex, is that something you can't deal with? If they friends? If they what? If they friends. If, you, if your boyfriend right now ex, if they friends, can they still talk? <laughs> Can they? Well, here's the situation. Right. Uh, they they can talk if they share a child. Okay. 
or a dog? A dog? Yeah. Hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> a dog. I was, no, I was, no, no, no. No, listen. Let me let me I clarify. I wish my lady would talk about we share a dog. Man, I kick out her face. What you talking about? We share a dog. <laughs> so get the fuck out of here, yo. Share. How somebody share a dog? Like you, you know, there's people that look at their pets as children. Like, hey, it's a dog. Right. I'm not trying to hear, trying to hear all that share dog shit. So right. What? Hell no, like if, hell no, not like no, 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 no. Yeah, no, I would, I would definitely say no to that. Like if you, if you share the job, dog like a child, hell nah. no, no. I got the no. dog for two weeks, and then you take but it for I, two weeks. Right, right, but it, but dogs are children for some people that don't have children. Uh, I mean, I'm just curious. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm very secure in mine. So, like, if mine's, you know, they conversate here and there. Like, I'm not tripping. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty secure in my situation. Right, whatever, right. Whatever I'm doing. Oh, she could talk to her ex. Is what you're saying? She could talk to her ex. I mean, they can, uh, you know, here and there if they want. Cause I trust. I'm. I'm. I'm trustworthy though. Like, I figure if I'm with somebody, you with me. And if you go against that, then go right. against that. Right. But you're you right. Know? And 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 it should be more like you. I mean, so I'm what not... if they was? No, no, no. Listen. What if they was best friends? Say what? Best friends, like her and her no. ex are like best friends. <laughs> Wait, <for that? laughs> I'm the only friend over here, nigga. Ain't, ain't no besties in this bitch. I'm your bestie. Fuck, be y'all just acquaintances. I'm your bestie. I ain't trying to hear that. Talk I mean, you best. said it was. You said it was cool. So it is cool. You can talk to your to your to your friend. Ain't no best nothing. Take the B E S T off. Y'all, y'all are uh, yeah, acquaintances yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Do you, right. your ex still reach out to you? My ex? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I done block half of them, so. Oh, you a blocker? <laughs> yes, I'm a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> I will I block your that. ass in a minute, nigga. I'll I be like, like oh. I, I like, like I be blocking people like uh, holy water. You know, the power <laughs> of Christ <laughs> compels you. I block their ass straight up. I don't do that. I don't like to block people, man. I want people to see my <laughs> shit. Fuck that. I don't block people numbers. I don't block people on social media. All I do is just keep hitting the block decline button. I think that's worse. I, mm. think if you, I think if you keep calling somebody, keep hitting that decline button, I right. think that hurts more than you just your phone number being blocked. Well, that means you got time. I ain't got no goddamn time. I don't have time. Block. Get out of you here. Got, you ain't got no time to not pick up the phone? That's I don't have time. Do. I don't have time to look at your shit. While I'm in the middle of a Netflix show on my shit, I'm over here watching Netflix and you dial it. I, and I don't even want you to call. See, that, that's, that'll make you block a nigga. When you don't want to hear from and they call while you're doing something you like, I be playing I be playing games on my phone. I don't care what it is. I be doing work. I be doing the garden escapes. You call during that shit, I might block you. And I, if I don't like you, I might block you. Interrupting your game? Really? Yeah, because I already don't want to hear from you. I mean, you know I don't want to hear from you because I ain't picked up since last November. So why you calling? Mm. We was talking about this yesterday. Are you sick of the what you doing text? Is that is that annoying to you? No, I like it. Oh, because the right nigga texts you what you doing, right? Right, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Everybody always <laughs> claim that shit is fucked up. But when the right nigga right. you what you doing, you be like, nothing. Right, they be trying to front. But you know what? You know what? I feel like half of these memes, Lawrence, are like memes for like people be mad because the person didn't like them. Like if <laughs> you're dating someone you so, like. Exactly. Yeah. Like the right, if the right person texts you what you doing at any fucking time of the day, you going to tell them exactly what Hell you're yeah. Doing. Like you know you I'm taking the shit, but I'm going to call you back. You know what I'm saying? Like you you going to tell them. You just tired of that nigga who been in your DM saying good morning beautiful for 16 days straight. <laughs> And then this nigga text you what he hit you and what you doing one time and you go the fuck off. You go create a whole meme. These niggas out here keep saying what you doing, bitch. Make reservations. Make reservations. Stop asking me what I'm doing. And then you gotta pay for it too, homie. Because women ain't paying for shit out here in these streets. Well, at least Candace not paying. They, no, no, no. I'm not paying. I'm not paying. But there are women that are paying. And these mm. men are if you understand, it's so much we don't know. It's so all this stuff a lot. It's men out here living off women straight up and they be posting like they got money. And it's not their money. It's the bitch's money. But You know it too. That's why you laughing. Know what I'm saying? Of course it is. But who fault is that though? Is that the man fault or the woman fault? Because if it's the woman allowing, if she taking care of the nigga, 
he letting her take care of him. What's the problem in that? Like, it ain't like a problem. He, it's not like he forcing her to say, look, I'm going to live in your house. I ain't going to pay for shit. I'm just going to be here. Like, he not forcing her to do that. She doing that because she wants to. Exactly. So, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you do it. I mean, I don't, I'm not the one, but hey, man, go Ooh, ahead. Let me, let me ask you one. Okay, so there's this rich ass lady. She fine as hell, right? She look young. She, a and, rich lady, she look young. Yes. Okay. She older, but she looks young. All right. She take care of herself, and she make a, a million dollars, a billion dollars. Hell, she rich as hell. And then she look at you and say, "Hey, I want you to stay in my house for two months and just fuck me crazy." What That's would you it? do? Just two months? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She said, "I pay for everything. I pay for everything." I'm saying it's just two months. Why well, I can't stay long? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna tease me like that, Slim? Hey. <laughs> Just gonna give me two months. I'm just getting started, man. I'm just getting started. You gonna give me two months? Oh my god! You might as well let me rock off for the whole year. What are you talking about? Well, I, that's trying, that. That's. I'm trying to get her pregnant. Fuck out of here! I'm trying. To be, I'm trying to get child support. Something, man. I'm not just gonna leave. It's hard to turn down. It's hard to I'm turn down. I'm not gonna give this good dick for two months and then fuck around and gotta go back home. To my regular like, ass you gonna pay life? for my dreams? Oh man! Exactly. Like you supporting I mean, where me? Where you been all my life? Where have you been? You were supporting me in every way, which way or form. You know what I mean? What about what about since you in LA? You you live in LA now? Or are you are you still living in Atlanta? Atlanta. Atlanta. So what we were talking about uh, getaways, like uh, vacation trips for dates. So I'm I'm pretty sure when you going, if a guy take you somewhere or fly you out, you're not paying for shit, right? I mean, I'll pay for a drink or two. A drink or two. I, my philosophy was always been, you get yourself there and I take care of everything else. Right. I think that's, I think that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Like, you get your, you can get a buddy pass, you know, get on spirit, whatever. I don't give a fuck how you get there. As long as you get there, I take care of everything else. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got to pay for the flight, too? Yes. Mm-hmm. So all you paying for is a Sprite, a little stingy ass Sprite. Whatever I pay for will be my decision. Oh, that's corny. You got y'all. So I do just supposed to fly you out, pay for the hotel, pay for everything that y'all do, excursions, bike that's ride, right. whatever yes. the fuck y'all do. You just got to pay for it. Yes, yes. And, we, absolutely. and what do y'all? And what do you provide for him, please? My presence. Presence. Yeah, I'm like, here. You being there. That's that's what the fuck. Yes. Hey, listen, you fine, but you ain't that fucking fine. All right. You <laughs> thank something. you. Thank you. You want you want pay for it. You gonna get something. You gonna get some shrimp. Or something like. I, I. You know what I'll pay for if I ran out of some dental floss or eye drops, and he happens to not be with me, I'll pay for that. Mm. Dental drops and and floss and, <laughs> and uh, chapstick. That's the type of shit you pay. <laughs> I need to just go to the corner store real quick. She said she bring it back chapstick, <laughs> suntan lotion, shit right. like that. Oh, I'll definitely bring it back. And I'll bring it back something, too. Like, what do you need? I'm going to the corner store. What do you need? Uh, y'all really, y'all really ain't shit out here in these streets, yo. Whatever. Y'all not, man. Y'all don't want to do nothing. All y'all want to do is, is you is you posting them on Here's Instagram? Here's the thing. This, this is, is what I have that? Yes, like when you, yes. When you on there, is you taking a bunch of pictures by yourself? Talk about some. I'm out here in these streets. I'm doing it big. What you doing? You mean putting them on? Put, you posting like posting a guy mm -hmm. that they're dating? I wouldn't do it. So he. So let me get this straight. He flying you out. He paying for everything while he out there. Mm -hmm. and he can't get an Instagram picture. He can get an Instagram story. A story. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that deep. Can, yeah, there, because I could be getting, hours. I can be get, I think I can be getting to know him, and I don't want to, you know, this is when you get to know somebody, you just have to wait it out before shit gets rough, and if it gets rough, you don't want to regret posting somebody. Regret? All you gotta do is delete it. True, but then you risking people being in your business and people asking about somebody you don't fuck with no more. That's the same thing I said. I said, I don't, I don't want to post nobody, period, at all. Yeah. Okay, what we doing? Because I don't want people in my business. People getting your business, they get her business, start asking questions, and that fuck up your relationship. You know what I'm saying? 
Steve Well 24 said, if you can't afford her, she ain't for you, player. I agree. Niggas always got shit to say when they on, like, on the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas always talking shit in the comments. Like, oh, we'll fly out there, big homie. Cat Look, cat, right, right, there. right, but, right, right before him, King Ted 2020 time I soon. That's what's wrong right there. They think all they got to do is show up with looks. Now, he got a point. Thank you, man. He, he, he talking some real shit. He got a point. He got a point. I feel like it's the responsibility of the woman. You know, she already know that he going to want some poo nanny wherever they go. So let's just talk about that up front if you're not going to give it up. Oh, you giving it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, 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 that's how, that's how, that's how nasty you is. You know what I'm saying? No, if it's, it's some people out here something. that are just no, getting no, to know each to other. Can't look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> no, look, look okay. At me. Look okay. At me. Let I'm me tell you something right now. If I, t if first of all, if I'm flying somebody else somewhere, that's already should be, you know, a given at that point. It should be like, look, um, I'm I'm paying for you to fly you all somewhere, hotel. We're going to be together for a weekend, maybe three days or something. You think we're just going to sleep in the bed together? Really? I'm just going to look at you. You're going to have a baby suit on and all this. I'm no, gonna she's going to say, I have I have my own room. I'm about to hang up. You Yes, so but you need to understand on, that this is what's being negotiated right now in real time. Not with me. I'm just saying with other people. So you saying there's people out here that will, a nigga will fly a chick out and then get her a separate room from him so they can just be in the space? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we can move on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> is these niggas is I'm I'm curious, is 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 that a thing, ladies? Like that, do y'all fly out this, and do and then do yeah, let's see from the people. Room? Let's see what what let I wanna know for real. Is that has that ever happened? Do chicks fly females out and they get said, them a separate room? Don Shay, your sh your shrimp said you can put a price on anything. Mm. Oh, um, oh hell, fucking no. Yep, exactly. That's crazy. That's dumb. Yeah, yeah, that's dumb. That's totally dumb. Brian B. Knowing yeah. say niggas be flying girls out early. They do. That's what I'm saying. They be finding them out early, like really, right when they start talking. And they be like, "Yo, I'm in." They be like, "Yo, I'm in." Like, um, I'm in Arizona right now, and. And she be in New York and be like, you know, um, I got this, I got this event I gotta go to. Let me fly you out real quick. Everything's taken care of. And then she'll be like, okay, well, I don't really know you like that, so I'm gonna need my own room. Let me tell you something. If I fly a chick out, she get her own room. She get the one way ticket. She get her own room. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be like, how I get home? I'm like, hey, only book you right. one way because you had your own room, so you can get yourself back home. Fuck all that, yo. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like you got to discuss the terms before you get out there. I feel like it's really trifling. If you don't, if you don't let him know that you won't be giving it up, then you trifling. I wouldn't, I would not get there and be like, I ain't giving it up. No, I'm going to let you know from the get-go. And then you can make your decision with a clear mind. And you can make your decision on how the hell you're going to get the fuck back home. Right. I feel like, way. yeah, if, if you're going to go out of town with a guy, I just feel like you have to there needs to be a percentage, a high percentage of you getting it up, giving it up. Yo, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Something gonna happen. I mean, but yeah, you definitely have to let them know, like, if you gonna give it up or not. You can't just not let them know. I think it should be a. I think that should be like that should be a given up. I mean, I I, I guess it depends on how early y'all talking. Like, if y'all talking for a couple of days and he be like, "Yo, fly out to L.A. with me real quick," I think that that discussion needs to be had. But if y'all been on a couple of dates or some shit like that, we good on that. I mean, just, just get that hole up and stop playing, man. Go ahead, get that hole up. They say, why y'all not buying your own tickets? Cause you want us to fly out. The fuck? I think women can buy. I think she can buy a ticket. I take care of everything else. I think that's. I think that's very yeah. fair, yo. They said. They said, uh, CJ Raphael. Cool, discuss the terms. No one should expect more if it's gonna happen than it happens. This nigga said, I agree. Want her presence or the pussy. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> what? He said, either you want her presence or the pussy. Which one? Which, which, which P? Which, which P, P you want? Which P you want, bitch? The presence which or P the pussy? Which P you want? That's good. I like that right there. Which P do you want? The presence I'm about or to put pussy? that on a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> which P do you want? The presence or the pussy? I like that right there. Well, I got to give him credit. Whoever that was. Hey, where he at? Man. I got to give him credit for that. Uh, Don Shay. I got to give you credit, homie. Whatever it your was. Your shram. Don underscore Shay underscore your shram. Yeah, I hope I said it right. You got to get that. That's my next t-shirt. The presence or the pussy. Which one you want? That's nice. <laughs> Might got cash app him a dollar for that one. You know what I mean? Look, why you put it on there? Matter of fact, yeah, put your cash app up there, man. I'm about to cash app you for uh, giving me that right there. Because I'm taking that one. That's that nice. I'm going to take it too. Shit. That's took right which, there. Which, which pee you want? The presence or the pussy? You know what I mean? Because you, you being This is my sister right Shayla right here. Hey, Shay, that's the birthday yeah. girl? She, no, she's that's my the... older sister, yeah. So how many sisters you got? How you doing, I got, sweetie? I got three extra ones. Three hey. Yeah. How yes. He said, hey, how you doing? How are you? Let me, let me ask her something. She's she single or what she got? Are you single? <laughs> I just heard the P word, so I was like, wait. This yeah, is you, giving this, up, this, you giving up the presence or the pussy? Which one he you said, you giving up the presence. He said, which P you want, the presence or the pussy? Which one you giving up? Am I getting presents for the pussy? No, 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 no. Which one you giving up? So you asking the man, which one you want, the presence or the pussy? Which P? <laughs> she looks so confused right Hopefully now. He say pussy. He Mostly. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, she with it. He said she with it. She with it. She ain't about that bullshit. She with it. You see how nasty she is. She said, oh hey, my man, god. I just playing. I just she playing. playing. She just playing. I'm a church. She ain't playing. She's she a lying. church girl. She playing. <laughs> Shayla, no, she's hilarious. Girl. Shayla is hilarious. She's the funniest person in my family. What day is it? Is it Wednesday? Shane Church Girl on Wednesday. Right, right, right. Wednesday. She she pussy. <laughs> keep it. Keep it simple. I got what, about what, two more questions. So then I'm going to let you go, Candice. Okay, cool. Because you, uh, <laughs> I see you on vacation. I don't want to take your time up too much while you're on vacation, living in big in LA and all that other good shit. How, how the corona? How, how the corona? You you good with the corona shit? Everything straight? I feel more safe out. Oh yeah, I am. I've been doing really good quarantine. Um, you know what? My toes look like I've been walking the streets of Harlem. I'm not gonna lie. I oh. really, I've been lost all my swag, bro. I'm just like, ah. I listen. I am. I get my nails done. I get my lashes done. And I get my. I keep my hair done. And all of these niggas ain't been done. So I'm just Ooh. like. Ah. <laughs> You got a three piece like Mike out here. You know what I mean, Your three piece. That's the only hard part. Yeah, that's the only hard part. I can't be doing my swagadelic like I usually. But I've been, I've been enjoying it. You know, I know it ain't been easy for a lot of people. You know, as far as money is is concerned. But you know, I've, I've been, I've been doing okay. I got sugar, mom. I'm straight. I'm good. Yeah, you been doing. I got, I got me. I got me a fifty five, been... fifty five plus taking care of me. Fifty. You know what, what you mean, fifty five plus? I got I got an old head. Old head take care of me. Oh shit. Fifty five? <laughs> hey, she take Your mama age? Me. She taking care of me, babe. What you mean? She mature. She take, well look at you. You having a good old time. She mature. She taking care of me. You know what I mean? She's fifty five. Uh -huh. Right, she know what to do. She go to bed at four thirty. Like I got the I got the whole day to myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> she go to bed at four thirty in the in the afternoon. She oh my always, god. She just say keep the noise down, baby. And she closed her door. And she always got a bunch of covers on her. But she good. What? Stop. Stop it with the covers. Lord. She need covers. It don't matter what it is. She need her covers on. But this last question I'm gonna ask you, man. No, dealing with your guy, you know, you said you're in a relationship right now. Would you be able to still date him if your family didn't approve of this guy? Yes. Mm. What about your friends? Like, if your friends was like, look, girl, we don't like him. That makes you it a lot him. more difficult. That does. Uh, because your friends are closer than your family. Mm hmm <clears throat> Oftentimes. So if, you, if your friends was like, girl, we don't, we don't like him, like, what, what you doing after that? Well, it's definitely going to be a hard battle because then you're now you're risking your friendship. If you don't have to, like, you know, I'm the type of friend, like, if I don't like the nigga you fucking with, then cool. You know it. I'm not about to like break my friendship up over you. Still my girl, but there are friendships where you know they take that shit personally, and then their friendship is on the rocks. So they don't like the person that they're dating. Mm -hmm. 
So you so, so what you gonna what you gonna tell the what you gonna tell the guy? Hey, look. Well, it depends on why I don't like him. Like if I don't like him because he he do he treat her wrong, then we got a problem. True, who your friends? Yeah, like if it's the guy she's choosing to be with is like, you know, fucking her whole life up, where we have a problem. I'm talking about you. Oh me? What you mean me? If your girlfriends don't like the guy you dealing with. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm. We don't have to discuss it because I'm trying to figure out why you don't like him. <laughs> like I I'm like said, that why you don't like him. They, he could be an ancient nigga to them. Or, he, you know, they just got a feeling about. You know what I'm saying? They, he come well, in there. Our friendship not going to last that long because now, in, in, on, at the age that I am now, like, I'm at the wisest I've ever been. So my, my choices are very much secure than they were when I was younger. So if you don't like the person I'm with now, then we may, we may not be, you know, talking like that. They could see something wrong and him that you don't. You blinded. You already said you was blind about a nigga with five right. kids. You think that shit can happen again? I mean, if 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 a person is my companion, if you talking, if you asking for me personally, if I choose them to be my companion, then they pass the test that they need to pass. And if you don't like them, then you know, then we got you know, then we probably not gonna be talking like that. Like I respect you not liking him, but if I fuck with him, then you know, oh, I'm so gonna defend him. Basically, you saying, hey, I'm not leaving this dick. That's, That's right. Like right. I don't know what the fuck you you can have fun not liking him, but this is this is where I'm at. So you can make you can make the choice. Good. I'm not leaving this good. <laughs> Hell it's no. Nice. Like bitch, I'm, you want me to be single and lonely for your bitch ass? Cause you hating? Get out of here. But he might not be hating though. They might be giving some good information, and you just so lost and yet in the cause right now. You know what I'm saying? Unless the information is to save my life, you can keep it. But that's not the situation. Then. Just, we we ain't got like nothing to talk about. That sounds like some good dick right there. That's what that sounds. Like. <laughs> I mean, sounds. women ain't women. Is, you ain't heard of no woman fighting over no bad dick. Mm, that that sounds like he, he he doing what he's supposed to do. You know, he he said that sounds like Henny dick right there. Ain't, ain't no woman say, like, I, yeah, I like my bad dick, nigga. Fuck you. She ain't never said it. Mm, no, he did, man. I get you, but I had a wonderful conversation with you, Candace. Yes. I appreciate you. Doing this for me. Uh, uh, when we meet at, I met you at the comedy theater. That's where I met you at. Yeah, I think was that ATL. ATL. Yeah, yeah. I was doing a show at the comedy theater. I think. Yes, yeah. and it was it was a great show. Yeah, funny and as hell. Yeah, uh, and then that's when I saw you on ATL. I was like, is that the same chick I saw him yesterday? And Wait, where you see me? I, I saw. We met at the at the comedy theater. And then I went home like two days later. Atlanta had came on. And I was looking at. I was like, "Yo, that chick looked familiar. <laughs> she looked like somebody I know." And then that's how I, I put two and two together. I was like, "Okay, that's a big head ass right there. I got you." Yeah, I put the big head ass. <laughs> big head, big head ass. Oh I my god. Oh, we we should have asked. We should have asked what people think about the term "Hey, big head." Hey, big head. What's wrong with that? I, don't I see fucking hate it. That's it. what's wrong with it. Why? What's wrong with it? It's a, it's a, I was it's a teased of... as a child for big head. And when niggas say it so casually now, they don't understand that they are they are sparking my trauma. Well, no, that's your personal problem. Ain't got shit to do with having you as a kid. I'm supposed to know that. The Jews tease because you got the gene of forehead. I ain't got shit to do with that. Yes, it, a lot of people have the gene of forehead and entire bank's forehead. It's a lot, it's a community of women with big foreheads that do not like when people say, hey, big kids. It's a sign of endearment. It's flirting. Just saying. It's not endearing. It's like you you know that I got a big head and you picking on me. And not picking that's just uh, that's your insecurities, okay? That ain't got nothing to do with us. That's <laughs> your insecurities because you look at your forehead every day in the mirror. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Nothing. Get over I hate it. it. Hey, I hate it. Head. You got if I had a small head, then it's cute. Oh that's so like calling that's like calling a fat person, hey fat bitch. But you know, she is not gonna like that. If you call a skinny no, girl, you, hey you, fat you, bitch, she gonna love you. You ain't got see so you got you ain't got put fat bitch on it's there. The same just, thing. No, it's not. You ain't got put the bitch on there. You just say, Hey, 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 hey Fluffy. How you doing, Fluffy? That's all you gotta say. You ain't gotta call her fat bitch. Just say, Hey Fluffy, look at you with your fluff fluff self. Stop it. Oh you my ain't god. Got nothing to do with that, man. It's like the same said, thing. One yeah. time talking to you, man. Be safe. Uh, stay six feet from people. Uh, all that good shit, man. Get yourself back to Atlanta safely. And tell your sister I said happy birthday, too. 
I will. Thank you. Right, so hold on, uh, everybody that's on here. I do relationship hour every Monday through Friday on my page, Lawrence C three H. Uh Candace brought to me today. She did it on her live today. Uh so check me out every Monday. I got a different guest. Tomorrow my guest is Alex Thomas. That's who I'm gonna be talking to tomorrow. So tune in, man. Candace, be safe out there, all right? All right. Peace. Bye.